Yeah, how do you get it? How do you get it? How do you get the picture? I mean, there's no picture. Yeah, like. Hi guys! Hi. Hello! Welcome to the channel! I Today, have a question. Mm -hmm. You pasted the picture of the talkative turtle, didn't you? I did not. It's a book. So mm -hmm. the thing is, let's sing to the magic hat. The magic hat will tell us what is the story about and then I'll share the secret with all of you. Okay? There's one secret that I have to share with all of you. Alright? Mm -hmm. Let's see which friends are already here and say hello to them. Hi, Vishti. And? Hi, Nira. And? Hola! Hi, Spanish people do hola as well, right? Hello. I think they call it hola. Is it? Kashvi. Yay. Hi, Kashvi. Kashvi, are you uh, in the Bayshore? I think uh, I think I've seen your mom's chat in the WhatsApp group. She is in the Bayshore. Are you sure? Wait, is her doesn't Hi, Kashvi. Adya. All right. What's in the magic hat today? Is her nickname Ka Kavya? I don't know. What's in the magic hat today? Who are we meeting today? Wait, Here's a hint. We clearly forgot the magic hat song okay. and the magic hat. Okay. Can we oh, sing the magic hat song? The magic hat is shaking. The magic hat is shaking. The magic hat is shaking. Agadabra. Agadabra. What's there in the magic hat? Weird. There's a turtle in the. There is a turtle hat. in the magic hat. What's the story about? Who knows what is the story the about? The talkative turtle. The talkative turtle. What do you think the turtle is gonna do in the story? Talk, talk, talk. Talk, 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 and talk some more. More. I think the turtle is gonna talk a lot. Who all here is very, very talkative? You know, when I was a mm. kid, I used to be very talkative. What about you? Mm. Are you talkative, Arav? Yeah, but the truth is, when sometimes when I'm very talkative, my mother starts saying mean words. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Again, are we doing that? Oh, like what? Like yeah. what we do always. Sometimes my mother says mean words when I'm too <laughs> talkative. Yeah. What yeah. about you guys? Are you all talkative or are you all not so talkative? Tell me a yes or no in the comment section. Are you talkative or are you not so talkative? Yeah. All right, guys. So come, let's, uh, before we start the story, I'm going to share with you something which I didn't know until today. Turtles and turtles are different. But does anybody know what's the difference between a tortoise and a turtle? No. They look very similar, right? Yeah. Are we ready to find out? I think the same they are not the same turtles and turtles are different and today we will find out what's the difference between them before we go and say hello to the talkative turtle, turtle. all right guys here Put we go hands over me if it's okay. so many tortoises and turtles they look very much alike like brothers hmm. they both lay their eggs on land you have to take a very good look at the shell. Shell is the outer covering of the turtle or the tortoise. Their legs. And where do they live to tell the difference between the two reptiles? So what all do you need to look? Their shell. You need to look at their shell, their legs, and their place of living. Ha, I have an idea. You also have to take a look at their eggs. Turtles' eggs are white. And this is how color is an On egg. land, okay? The biggest difference between turtles and tortoises is where they spend their time. So tortoises, they spend all their time on land. Some tortoises live in dry climates. Tortoises, tortoises, tortoise shells are rounder. To help keep them safe. See, it's not flat. The one yeah. which we are holding, it's flat, right? Yeah. A little bit. Tortoise's shell is more rounder. Okay? Turtles. Turtles spend most of their life in? Water. Water. Some turtles live in the sea, while others live in rivers or lakes. Turtle shells are usually flatter, which helps them to? 
swim and turtles can come on land for food sometimes but many of the turtles they eat sea plants and animals so yeah. now you know the number one difference what is that that turtles, turtles like to live on sea or land which yeah. is it la sea sea and tortoises they love to live on the land correct let's find out difference number 2 feet or fins okay many sea turtles have feet that look like flippers like this one is a flipper no see so and in the picture it. also that's so that they can swim in the sea yeah so that's a turtle this is a turtle some turtles that live in rivers or lakes have webbed feet just like that of a frog frog has a webbed feet right yeah hmm so these turtles they use their flippers or webbed feet to swim very very quickly and run away from you if you are chasing them mm -hmm. tortoise feet on the other hand are short and round see can you see how round they are yeah is the turtles uh, fin flipper round we have to tell you something yeah if that turtle mm -hmm. has webbed feet that means it also spends its time on land it can sometimes but it prefers to live on the water usually mm. so the turtle tortoises their feet are short and round and they are used for walking on the land hmm that's right so that's difference number 2 mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. tortoises you have to look at their feet if it's short and round it's a tortoises if it's like a flipper webbed feet it's a turtle right yeah. now the difference number 3 turtles and tortoises they both lay eggs okay mm -hmm. the baby turtles and tortoises they hatch using an egg tooth which is a sharp point on their bill they used to break their egg shell sea turtles they lay their eggs in sand their babies have to make their way down the beach and into the sea and you know what of the turtles they live up to 80 years mm -hmm. and the tortoises they can live up to 150 years so chilis double the age so who lives longer tortoises or turtle turtle turtles tortoises 150 years and turtle shorter 80 years so this is what we know okay the difference shell if it's rounder it's a Quickly tell me, this is a rapid fire quiz for you. Mm -hmm. If the shell, if the shell is rounder, is it a tortoise or a turtle? Are have got it right? You let me know your answer Can in the comment the section. Am? I'm on top of me. Hmm? Was, yeah. All right. Then, Now the lifespan. If it's living for eighty years, is it a turtle or a tortoise? Mm -hmm. Are have got it right? All right. and if it lives on the sea is it a tortoise or a turtle yes we got it right i hope you gave us answers too now i'm going to check your answers hey awesome guys you are all correct awesome now let's move to our story time now that we have learned about the tortoise and the turtle we learned three or four differences about them right i'm going to ask you some questions at the end of our story as well Let's move to the talkative turtle. Are you ready? He's gonna talk a lot. Let me warn you. What is he gonna do? Talk, 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 And let me find out where is my talkative turtle. Talkative turtle. Talkative turtle. This story is from India. Can you believe it, Ara? Huh? You never knew, right? I never knew. Hmm. This story is from India. Let me bring you there. And here we. <laughs> go where are you story chonta it is here all right guys awesome sorry sometimes can you see the story now guys yeah awesome 
Is that a story? Long ago in India, there lived a turtle who was always talking. This guy just couldn't turtle, stop talking. Turtle, turtle, turtle. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. okay His okay. endless chatter annoyed everybody. Whoever lived in the sea with him, it annoyed them. Why is this guy always talking, they thought. Why can't he keep quiet for some time? Oh. So that's why, you know what, Ara? What? All the people living in the sea, all the creatures, sea creatures, they started avoiding him. The octopus, the dolphin, the jellyfish, the starfish, you name it. And they avoided him because this guy is very, very talkative. Very talkative. I have to tell you something. Yes. If he's so talkative, mm -hmm. that why don't they at least eat him? The octopus can eat him. Ah, uh, no, I am not sure why the octopus is not eating him. But he spent his days mumbling to himself as he climbed in and out of water because nobody would talk to him, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One day. Two visiting geese landed along the shore. Can you see the geese, guys? Here, you, you play. Do you play duck duck goose? Yeah. So when there's more than one goose, we call them geese. 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 Right? I hope I'm right. So one day, two visiting geese, it's comfortable like this. One day, two visiting geese landed along the shore. The turtle admired their sleek feathers, said, wow, your feathers are so pretty. And he spent many hours praising their beauty. Talk, 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 talk is all he did. did. At last, to avoid the turtle's ceaseless chatter, the geese prepared to fly off to another shore and now they wanted to in fact go to another pond they wanted to just fly away from this seashore because of the ceaseless chatter of this turtle. turtle when the turtle saw that the geese are about to fly away you know what did he say guys he said take me with you he started crying Take me with you, please, please, please. Take me with you. This guy is very naughty, isn't he? Yeah. Talking and crying. That's how kids also get so much work done, right? They cry and the parents have to do what they ask, isn't it? So he learned the trick from some kids, I guess. So he started crying that take me with you. He said... I'm lonely here in the sea. Nobody is my friend. And you two are so nice. You are such nice company. I want to be your friend. Take me with you. I'm a good turtle. The bird started thinking. Can you fly, Mr. Turtle? No, you cannot. Then how can we take you with us? How can we do such a thing? You cannot fly. We are going to fly off to the other pond. How will we take you, silly turtle? They said. How is he going to go with the goose, Arab? Does he have a plan? Or is he just very, very silly? What do you think, guys? Does he, he have a plan? a plan? Does he have a plan? He has a plan. Let's find out. Oh, that's his plan. Oh, I got it. Okay, let me share the plan with you all. Nothing is impossible, said the turtle. I have thought of a plan. And to the amusement of the geese, the turtle said, it is quite simple. First, let us find a long and strong stick. Each of you can hold one end of stick in your beaks like this. One end Arab is holding, one end I'm holding. And what is the turtle going to do? I will then bite hard in the middle of the stick and I will keep biting the stick and that's how I will hold it. 
because obviously he doesn't have a arm or something to hold the stick or does he yeah he doesn't yeah? he, he does. has a flipper which is very slippery he can't hold the stick with his flippers can he yeah no he right he can tie his flippers around mm so he thought of biting the stick with his mm. mouth okay mm. and hanging in there can you see the picture that's how he wanted to go mm. two sticks in the mouth of the two geese and he will hang in the middle he will bite into the stick okay he said that way when you fly up i will cling to the center of the stick with my strong mouth and you can carry me over the trees and we can land in the pond of your choice i am willing to follow you wherever you are going okay we can go to a pond of your choice i will just keep biting to the middle of the stick and you will carry me with you smart idea ha huh? smart isn't he yeah do you think this plan will be successful do you think the turtle will be able to cross over and go to the pond with the geese no no why sounds He's like a good plan so talkative He's too talkative. Hmm. How's that gonna be a problem, Arav? See, if people says he might open his mouth and say, "How am I lighting this?" If people says he's a flying turtle, he might get irritated, right? Yeah. So something like that happens. Let's find out what happens. Okay. Mm. The geese replied, "What a ridiculous idea!" You could fall to your death, Mr. Turtle. You know, the turtle protested. I will not fall. My mouth is strong. I will hold on to the stick tightly. Sure it is," said the geese. "Your mouth is surely strong from your endless talking. You will be safe only and only if you can keep your mouth shut." so what was your concern right that if he opens his mouth he might fall down same is the concern of the geese they said that you can be safe only and only if you keep your mouth so shut the turtle indignantly replied you think that i cannot keep quiet but i can you think i'm a fool but i'm not i know when to be silent and when to speak it's very important arav to know when to be silent and when to speak do you know when to be silent when somebody is busy working on something really important are you silent or are you talking sometimes i talk quite yeah so it's very important to know when to be silent and when to speak talk admit it he said my idea is excellent yeah mm -hmm. and now you two geese you be kind enough to let me try my invention and fly with you come on geese let's do it it's a great idea he said mm the two geese discussed with each other and they said very well but we cannot guarantee your safety okay mr turtle we cannot guarantee your safety in this journey mm turtle said don't worry about that and then he ordered to the geese go get the stick and you will see how quiet i can be when silence is important arav i think he knows the importance of being silent sometimes i think he knows when to talk and when to be silent i don't think he will fall down what do you think arav do you think he will fall down my guys do you think he will fall down or he will land safely What do you think? What do you think? Don't read the story and then tell me what you think. I think he will fall down. Arab thinks he will fall down. What do you think? Do you think he will fall down or do you think he will reach safely? Hmm. Yeah. So now I'll tell you what happened. The geese flew off and returned with a long, strong stick. They each took an end in their beaks. The turtle. clamp his mouth on to the middle just like he had said he would do and as the geese beat their wings and flew into the air the dangling turtle went up too safely 
Arav, he's going safely. I think he's going to land safely along with the... Yeah. Along with the... Geese. Geese. Hey, see, everybody thinks, even uh, Anirudh thinks he will land safely. Kashvi thinks oh, he will land safely. Neera thinks he will fall down. I Ritesh think thinks he will land I safely. Don't. Yeah, guys? I think he'll fall down. You think he will fall down? Yeah. Okay, guys, now we are going to find out what will happen, okay? Yeah. Now, soaring high above the trees, they were a vision to behold. Some children at play, they looked at them and you know what they said? Yeah. They looked up and they said, look, look, two geese are carrying a turtle on a stick. It's so amazing to see this. We never get to see this. What clever birds. They thought of such a fantastic idea to carry the turtle with them. Everybody who was watching from the ground, they were all praising the geese or the turtle? Geese. The geese, right? Then another child cheered. Good thinking geese, you are very smart. The turtle heard the children's voices and their words made him very angry. It infuriated him. He fumed. He, he thought they should be complimenting me for this. It's my plan and not the geese. Hmm. What is he thinking? It's my plan, not the geese. Eh? Yeah. And he was so, so, so outraged. The turtle finally could not control himself. And he exploded with sound. He opened his mouth. And he said, it was my idea. And what happened as soon as he opened his mouth? He fell down. He went tumbling to the ground. ground. See? And what do we learn from this story, guys? We should only speak at the right moment. We should only speak at the right moment, right? Yeah. It's very important to know when to speak and when to be quiet. Quiet. You know what they say, Ara? What? Think before you speak. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And you know what else they say? A smart person knows what to speak, okay? If you are smart, you would know what to say. But a wise person knows when to speak. So to know when to speak and when to be silent shows that you are very smart. wise. Okay? So are you smart or are you wise? Tell me in the comment section. If I was a smart person knows what to speak. And a wise person knows when to speak. If, wait. Hmm. If I was... If you were the turtle, what would you do? Do you know what I'll do? Hmm? I'll say, hey geese, want to go on your back? I may need to talk it in, but if I'm on your back, you will be guaranteeing my safety. But if you go on the geese's back, right Ara? Yeah. The geese won't be able to carry your weight, one geese. For one geese, the turtle is very heavy, no? They both are balancing his weight on the stick. Otherwise, the turtle is very heavy, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's the problem. So, guys, what did you learn from the story? Always be wise. Know when to speak. Know when to speak, right? Where's the quiz rapid fire question? Okay, so the rapid fire quiz for today is... Hmm, let me think. Hmm, okay, this is what I want to ask you. Uh, where does our tortoise live? On land or on sea? Let me know in the comment section. Arav already gave me the answer. I'm waiting for your answer. Let me know where does a tortoise live? On land or on sea? And the second rapid fire question is... Hmm, let me see. What do I want to ask you? Does a tortoise... Does a turtle live longer or does a tortoise live longer? Okay, Arav gave me both the answers correctly. So Arav, I'm going to clap for you and I'm going to look for other answers. That's right. A tortoise lives on land. 
Very good, Ritesh. Land and sea both. How come, Lata? Tortoise lives on land and turtles they lives on they live on sea. But most sometimes, mostly. Sometimes is a diff, like sometimes is an exception, but mostly okay. Mm -hmm. And now you have to tell me which one lives longer, a turtle or a tortoise? Yes, a tortoise lives longer, right? Thank you for participating in the quiz. It was a it was a lot of fun playing with you all and um, that's it for today we'll see you tomorrow with another story yes ara yeah okay tata i have a big hug from my mother big hug okay big hug mm. big hug bye bye guys tata see you soon see you soon bye -bye. Like, didn't you realize it's almost about to be our 60th story it's almost about to be our 60th story this is story number 59 so if you're new here, make sure you go to our page Babza Ras and visit all the other stories and have a lot of fun, okay? I Bye, guys. Think, I think there's going to be a too much stories. All right. Bye. Bye.